This is an example to show how to make a, a new function or a method and really extend the knowledgeware library. So I have a scenario here where I want to create a list of points that are under this body, but also the list of the points shouldn't have any children associated to them either. So to demonstrate what I'm saying is that um, right now I have a list of one point. So you can see the size of the list is one, and under that part body there's one point there. But if there was a dependency on that point, um, say like a plane, then uh, this point should be removed from the list according to according to my rule. And uh, now you can see that the list has been updated. There are zero points in the list, and um, there's one point still under my body, but now it's it has a child. So let me move these points underneath this body and we'll see how that impacts the list. So now we have uh, ultimately we have four points underneath this body. Uh, these three points um, don't have any children and this point has a child so again I'll just demonstrate how it's going to be removed from the list by just making a, a child. So now we can see we have four points underneath the body but uh, two of the points have children so two points have been removed from the list and one point remains or two points remain in the list. You can see them highlighted here. Again if I just delete those out you can see the list will be modified. There we go. So now we have uh, four points in our list. There are no children associated with those points and they're all underneath this body. So let's take a look at this rule. This rule is really what's driving that thing. So in my rule I've associated uh, a function to this list. So the function has, in, in this case, has an output of a list. This is a custom function that I created, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So this function is has an input of this uh, body here, this open body feature. So that's all I have to provide my function. The rest of the contents of the rule are completely de defined within my, my new function. So we can see how to access that in the library here. So if I go to list, um, we can see that there's a new function here called uh, point list. And you can see its definition, point list, takes a geometric set and um, it returns a list. So that's what I've defined and now we'll take a look at the contents of that. Under the BKT workbench we have the ability to create uh, functions and methods. So let me pull out this toolbar so you can see what we're talking about here. Uh, it's this icon here, uh, which is add function and method. So if we click on that, we're going to get an interface like this where uh, we can see the declaration of uh, what's going to be added to the dictionary. You can define it as a method or a function. You can add arguments, return types, and then you can define your rule within, within this area. So I'll jump to my example here. So in my example, um, I created a name called point list, which you already saw in the dictionary. I defined the argument being the open body feature. And I've also created a return type, which is a list. So this information gets generated, the variables get generated automatically by the definition that we've done up here in the top. And then it's just a matter of defining the rule. So you, you can see in my rule that I'm querying for points. And you know the points are going to be the points that are inside this open body feature. That's the that's the input. So here we pick an open body feature as the input, and we're going to query that open body for points. So there's one other qualifier though. Um, the points uh, must be a root. So if the point is a root, then I'm appending it to my output list. So if it's if it's not a root, then obviously it doesn't get appended to the list. So this is uh, code that I use over and over quite a bit in uh, my BKT functions. Um, and now I've uh, just created another function that I can reuse and I can get directly from my KnowledgeWare library. And as you can see in my example here, under this part, I'm able to access it just from a rule now. So anytime, I'm, um, anytime I want to do that function, I want to return um, a number of points under a body that our roots and uh, don't have any children, I can now very easily do that just by calling this function and supplying an open body feature.